This one, this is out in the Sunnyvale area, 80 right off of Collins. That area has been blocked off for quite some time. It's where my colleague Tiffany Liu is, uh, thanks to a police chase that started more than 12 hours ago and ended close to where Tiffany is. This has been breaking news. We know folks in the neighborhood are sheltering in place. Tiffany, last time I saw you, it was a lot of action going on behind you. Yeah, absolutely, Tashara, and there still is. In the last half an hour, several times we have heard the sounds of popping and bangs, some sounding like shots popping off, but others sounding like flashbangs, and you could still hear the chopper overhead behind me in this wooded area where police are searching for the suspect. There are also drones that we can see from a distance. I don't know if you could see it from the camera. They're just, they just look like little dots from where I'm standing, um, but we are standing about a mile away for safety reasons, obviously, because uh, we want to be far away from wherever this man has has been contained. Now, let me rewind for you guys back to 6 p.m. last night in Kaufman County. Uh, according to DPS, deputies pulled a car over that had expired tags, and when they ran those plates, they realized that the vehicle was stolen, and that's when the chase started. Eventually, police did put out spikes, and the suspect crashed just off of US 80 in Sunnyvale, again, about a mile from where I'm standing. Well, instead of surrendering, we are told he got out on foot and shot at deputies. They say the suspect even pointed a long gun at the chopper at one point. Now, deputies did return fire, but we aren't sure if that suspect was hit. The shooter took off into this wooded area, which is right next to a bunch of homes, and it's been a standoff ever since. There was a second person in the car who was taken into custody after 9 o'clock last night, but officials say that was not the person who, was, who, sh who had shot at police last night. Now, neighbors here are still being asked to shelter in place to lock their doors. We also know that Sunnyvale ISD has been in communication with the police department. They have delayed school start time for two hours now um, as police continue to search for the suspect. Right now they are telling us that there is no immediate threat to the public because they do have this individual contained um, to that wooded area. But of course, you know, um, as reporters out on the scene, we're constantly listening to scanner traffic as well. We always have to work to confirm this scanner information, but what we've recently heard is that they're searching around by a creek bed right now and, and trying to send, um, you know, bearcats down there to, to see if that individual is there. But again, Again, we are calling all the departments to hopefully confirm this information for you guys, and we'll bring it to you as soon as we can. Let's send it back to you in the studio. Yeah, we